expliquer ce problème, of course, c'est des ressources, et des ressources sont both financial et humain. We hope that at some point in time, um, in terms of synergism between the government's mm -hmm. health department as well, the government health department, as well as NGOs like ourselves, we actually synergize and actually make a bigger impact. Mm -hmm. Because as it is right now, yes, we can say we've covered it long way, right? But there, there are a lot of other areas mm -hmm. that they actually complain that we haven't had vaccination campaigns yeah. for the past two years, and we actually have in cases of rabies. Mm. So at some point in time, I'm hoping that we can actually make a bigger impact within Malawi mm -hmm. as a whole. But in terms of the whole northern part of Malawi, um, so far there's, there's nobody who's really actively mm -hmm. um, providing that kind of service to them. To create a wave of momentum beyond our borders. And the way in which we've done that is has, we've started projects just on the other side of the border. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily go to central points. But we want to start in the same way, a small pocket of success, which we can then build on. It's of less importance because of other problems, um, other animal diseases, other human problems, other agricultural problems. So it's not consistent. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get it to a point where from a central point at, at national, we can have one consistent program that addresses all of those problems across the country. I say just beginning the project, there's always a struggle against, you know, when you're bringing a project in, people are going to be expecting this, that, and the other from you, and you just really laying down the facts of why Mission Rabies is there, mm -hmm. and what kind of project this is, and what kind of long-term benefit it will have. And um, then, of course, because it's the first year, we have issues with mapping, and, you know, there's supposed to be a school in, in one part of the district. We're trying to make sure that it's actually there so we're able to go there and educate the, the children properly. Or, um, you know, just small logistical things that, that mm -hmm. it only takes time to work out. I would really like to see a lot of training for the assistant veterinary officers because they're the ones that are going to stay here after we leave. Um, and so if, if they can have better training on you know, proper animal handling, animal welfare, um, different types of surgeries, uh, lateral flow tests for politics, rabies. personalities, mm -hmm. um, and it is it, this this hierarchy of I must be in charge kind of situation is a problem, um, as opposed to looking at the situation and saying, well. Here is a solution to vaccinate the dogs. Let's just get it done, create the budget, put it in place, let the people do the work. The, 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 the problem that we're going to have in this country is that once we've actually really, in the big scheme of things, eliminated the disease, people are going to start forgetting about it. And I think this is what's it's a critical point through this country, through every other country in the world, that we must always remember that rabies will be around mm. and I know we want to try and eliminate human rabies by 2030 um, which I think is possible if we all work together but there will always be rabies. Do you think the the importance of this is going slightly off the topic to mm. theoretically off the topic but it's really in my opinion it's the crux of the mm -hmm. of the whole problem is that if we're going to eliminate human rabies, mm -hmm. okay, caused by or mediated by dog rabies, is we need to stop dogs biting people. And I think, and, and it's people come along and say, oh, but that's just too simple. Well, rabies is a simple disease to actually eliminate. We vaccinate the dogs, the disease disappears. But then again, the cost or the burden of a dog bite is so huge for a community, an individual, and a country mm -hmm. that if we just stop dog bites, we're not just going to stop human rabies because we're preventing do uh, rabid dogs from biting people, but we're also going to prevent or reduce the cost or the burden of the threat of rabies to people.